Hello guys and welcome to the fifth tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can set up the new MCP and I'm going to talk a little about his new stuff. So let's start as always by going to MCP site so search on Google for Minecraft MCP and you will get the Minecraft coder spec. Just Download the 5.0, which is the new version version of MCP that works with Minecraft 1.0, the final version of Minecraft. So once you download it, I've already done it, so let's skip this step. You will get a file, a compressed file, a zip file, and you want to extract it. So do it, extract it. And let me just place this in his original fo folder and rename the folder to MCP so you can know where your folder is. Next, you'll see that this is always the same as the other one. So, as we did in the, in the other one, just go to run, go to your Minecraft folder. and copy the bin and the resources to the jars. It will take a while, not long, but... Well, now that this is done, and you have your bin and your resources inside the jars folder, all you really need to do is decompile it and yeah, you are pretty much set, so I will s skip ahead this step because it takes a while and see you right now. So, well, w all that I did was I installed mine I installed mod loader in my actual Minecraft and then I as you see saw I just copy the bin and the resources with mod loader already installed into here and now I get a bunch of new folders well now let's open Eclipse and let's see what the new things are let me just change the workspace oh I'm already in the workspace well, I'm already in the workspace, which was the path, world intel, I mean the world intel, MCP and Eclipse and I set the works, workstation, work, workbench, not workbench, I'm not playing Minecraft, the workspace to there. Now let's see the new things that are in this new version of Mod Loader. So, your mod will stay the same, so you will have to add mod underscore in the name. Let's just call it test, not text, test. And if we extend it as a base mode, so let's extend base mod, you will see that once we un we add the unimplemented methods we will have two methods instead of one so first change your string it's not version anymore it is get version it does the same thing so here i would place 1.0.0 which is the version of minecraft and the other big change was the load. So, how can I explain it? The load, not the writer, it's like your constructor, but this is if you want to load... This is the... How can I explain it? I, I have no idea. Well, let me see how can I explain it. Once your mod loads, this is what will... With, this is what will run. For example, if I have here a load feature that will get variables for my mod like the the preferences the config file 
I would place like here load and then create a method called public void load and this will load like if I have here some variables that need to be added to my mod like some mods use the uh, use a config file to get the variables because the variables can the variables the IDs of the blocks can conflict with other mods so they use a config file so they will load it in here the variables and you in, instead of you placing them in your constructor you place it in load and this is the thing the first thing that runs once your mod is initiated this is where we will, you will put the mod loader dot set game in hook set game hook and the set in gi hook so i hope you guys understand this because when i first downloaded it and when i first started it i was like well how what is the because i was getting an error while writing version so i went to rizugami's chat and i talked with some people there and that's and that is what they told me so i hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys have learned because it was a bit difficult for me to come up here and did it and do it without having other person to tell me what are the new features because I didn't know it I didn't know what to place in load but they told me and I was very thankful to them so I want to pass that to you so you can learn and you can update your mods so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and the next one because a lot of people have asked me how to generate structures I may do it I think I will do it in the next tutorial because it's not that hard but it is a bit tricky sometimes so until the next episode guys peace out and have a nice day